Oh man, check it out. This car's frozen solid. I can't even open the door. It's frozen tight. Let's see, did that help mothers? Ooh. This car of mine is getting to the age where it's getting quite old and uh, fairly temperamental in cold weather. So. <laughs> You gonna start for me? Oh, almost. It's minus two. <sighs> All right, I took three attempts. But we got the car started. Um, I would sooner spend a little bit of the time now tonight doing that uh, instead of playing about with her at what, four o'clock in the morning before going to work. That's not good when you can see your breath in front of your face. And me stops one to <laughs> Oh gosh. Anyway, let's get this bad boy defrosted a little bit further and. Uh, I'll take her out for a little drive. Just uh, loosen her up. She's been sitting two days if I've been started. But we'll get to that shortly. So what I'm gonna have to do when I get home later on is park this bad boy with her nose under the wall. Because check it out, like we're here, frozen solid. It took it just to get her started. This window here has absolutely no frost on it. What's on her along with that one? And the back window. So, uh, park her the other way around and keep the frost away from the engine. Should have thought of that Friday evening before I parked her. Alright, so here we go, guys. We're out now, and uh, this car is getting more and more like our owner every day. It takes a bit to get started in the mornings. <laughs> so, Back home, winding down for the rest of the evening here. This is, should have been uh, an update for Vlogmas. Um, I haven't been doing good with it, have I? Really, in all honesty, I really haven't. Um, as I said in the last video, I wasn't as far over this flu as I thought I was. And I literally decided I was going to take yesterday and today to just crawl into a sleeping bag which is a good tip if you're trying to beat the flu uh, get a sleeping bag, crawl under that bad boy inside your bed with the quilt over the top of you <laughs> class, sweat it out of you that's what I've been doing for the past two days and literally I've slept so much it's, uh, it's not even funny anymore how long I've slept over the past two days uh, trying to force out some of the exercises and the home routines from the gym and uh, they have been absolutely killing me just to keep up with that uh, not doing good at all with this flu but I think the worst of it is over me now and thankfully it's not that other thing because uh, at work getting the, we constantly get our temperatures checked on there you know, if uh, you start running a, a fever at all if your temperature spikes you're automatically, you know, out, go home, sort yourself out. But my temperature has been perfect. So, thankfully, it's not that. My sense of taste and smell is here. You know, no problem. 
Um, yeah, it's just been, uh, that's been awkward and just something that I just couldn't be bothered dealing with right now because this whole vlogmas thing, I wanted to do this far more, uh, far better for you guys. Um, yes, I'm not even breathing properly at the moment. Everything's just sort of sitting in the throat and the chest and the head. And I've had a sort of a, a sinus problem that's been happening for quite a few years at this point, literally before 2020 happened and that crazy virus shut the whole place down. Um, I was supposed to be going to go to see a specialist about the nasal problem of going and when that happened everything was just put to the, the back burners and uh, yes haven't heard anything back from that but another health test that I got done at work was a hearing test and my left ear is slightly worse than my right ear at the minute so they did get me an appointment with a specialist to go and check that out so I'm thinking I'm sure you can hear it in my voice right now that's the, the nostrils starting to close up on me um, Again, that's what something that's been happening for a couple of years at this point. Uh, as we all know, ear, nose, throat, the whole works is all connected. So I'm hoping that appointment uh, on Wednesday of this week, hopefully that'll maybe shed some light on it. I'll go and get the ears looked about, but I'm going to ask about the nose and whatnot. There's any sort of, you know, could that be affecting how I'm hearing as well? Obviously, if everything's connected. It's a possibility, it could, have, could be. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. Just a swift one, let you know what's happening. We're going to get back to it as best as possible for the remainder of the month. Now that I've slept away the better part of this nonsense, hopefully, we're going to be back to normal. So, yes, come back and check out the next video.